What's up? Thank you for clicking on this video. This is me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access the Artist Packs in Logic Pro X, okay? So the Artist Packs, they are royalty-free sounds from today's biggest hit makers, including Boys Noise, Mark Latiri, Mark Ronson, Oakfelder, Selection, Take a Day Trip, Tom Mish, and Track Girl. Sound Packs feature Slap House, Modern Ambient, and a collection of 808 drum kits, bass samples, and loops, okay? These are a bunch of new sounds that sound super great and super professional, but I am making this video because maybe there's someone out there like me, they didn't know how to get to the artist pack. So that's why I'm making this video super simple. You're going to click on Logic Pro, we'll let it load up. Now, if you go to the starter grids, that's where you will see all of the different artist packs, okay? So first things first, you want to download them, okay? So I already downloaded, take a day trip. You could tell the ones I didn't download because when you click on it, it won't have an arrow. So I didn't download Track Girls. I'm going to download Track Girls. I think I did Oakfelders. Craig Dang it, I did that one. Selection, I'm going to download that as well. So if you tried to do this and it didn't work, this is why. Okay, so let's click on Sound uh, Track Girls. Let's call it Sound Girl. Choose. And when you click that, you're clicking on a project. You're not clicking on the ability to just use these sounds because these are all audio. Therefore, when you click this eye, you won't see an instrument loaded because it's no instrument, right? It's just audio waves with some audio effects. So let's get out of here. And instead of going to the starter grids, we're gonna to go to recent because here's the thing. These are just showing you what you can do with all of the sounds. These, that's why they put this here because you can't use the loops that's in those projects. They're not royalty free loops. The royalty free sounds are the sounds and the instruments and things like that. All right, so you wanna go to um, new project and you can do an empty project or a live loop. I like to start with an empty project, but you can do either. And you wanna to go to software instrument and I just put on empty channel strip and then I push create. Okay, so then you wanna make sure your drawer is open. This is a drawer right here. If it's not open, you won't be able to get to it. Make sure that drawer is open and this is your library, all right? And then where it says library, it has all sounds, okay? So we're starting with the drum kits first. Then we're gonna to go to the instruments. All right, so if you look at electronic drum kits, it doesn't have the artist name of the drum kit that you're looking for, right? All right, so you wanna go up here to the library and where it says all sounds, you wanna just click the arrow down and then you're gonna see where you're gonna see the sound packs are here. You're also gonna see the producer packs, okay? And the producer packs are all the producers. The sound packs are just all the sound packs. All right, so I'm gonna to go to Take a Day Trip. It's been my favorite sound pack so far, all right? So we're on Take a Day Trip, and you wanna to go to Electronic Drum Kit. Now you see mods have this arrow. That's because I didn't download all the sounds, all right? And here you're gonna have the sound packs from take a day trip all right the electronic drum kits so what you want to do if they're not downloaded you want to download them all right I don't download all the stuff I have only 500 kits <laughs> but I usually put everything on the external okay so we downloaded these sounds okay and you can also go to kit pieces and you can download all the kit pieces okay I'm just go ahead and download that all right so you go to kit pieces, these have the individual sounds for each pack. So you got your kick sounds, you got how many kicks you can count if you want. All right, kit pieces, go back. You got your snare sounds, all of the snares, and you have the hi-hats, all right? Now something cool um, about um, the kit pieces is that, so say, let's go to kit. Okay, so we're at just an individual kit piece, right? We're at Alphabet City. You can click on any of these. It'll pull it up to our right, you know, on the track. All right. But you see it pulls up in the quick sampler. And it tells you where the root starts. So this is starts at C0. So you can play it like that. You can play it as a one shot. You see the wave. You can edit the wave. So that comes in handy because sometimes you may just want to use just, you know, a kick 
and a snare and a hi-hat and you want to just play those on your keyboard or whatever have you or you just want to program the notes in on the tracks you don't have to worry about putting up a whole drum kit because you don't want to use everything in one drum kit so that's comes in handy that way but this is the way i have been using it so i go to electronic drum kits and we're still going to take a day trip click on this washington just double click it and then it brings up the drum kit now you can drop it down you can see all of the sounds that are in the drum kit. oh yeah all right so then if you double click it you can you can press create midi region or create a pattern region i'm going to create a pattern region all right i'm going to loop that i'm going to show you an alternative way you can do things too because we're all about having more than one way because there's always more than one way to do things all right so you have so we have our you know our step sequencer and then we can program drums in i'm gonna close this drawer give me some more screen it looks weird without this all the time i gotta keep talking all right um but i'm gonna just turn my step sequencer turn my pattern in to 32 and i'm gonna change my step rate to eight okay and then what i'm going to do to make more than one pattern i'm going to create track alternatives this is just one way okay so let me just pro uh, program some drums All right, all right, so I'm gonna just keep it simple for right now. All right, let me see, I'm gonna put my hats. I mean, you can use this like you use every other drum kit in Logic Pro. Okay, so this hi-hat, I wanna change this hi-hat. Now, if you click on these two arrows here, you can go to kit pieces and it'll bring up all the kit pieces that are in the kit Washington, okay? And you can pick, I can pick the second hi-hat. You can also do that with any other sounds. If you do kicks, you can go to kit pieces. It'll bring up all the kit pieces for Washington. You can change the kit. So what I want to do here is to edit this. Change the octave to higher. Turn the velocity down. All right. Um, so then, show you something you could do. You can uh, go to this track alternative that we created. Go to, you can go to duplicate, and it'll be B. And then you can just build on this. You can put um close hi hat. Let's close this out. Right, so it's no close hi hat pulled up in the kit that it made. So I'm gonna just go here. I'm going to go to open I at Washington. This awesome beauty is her name. And then you can just build on this. And then show an active and then you can just um you know put them in the order that you want like you know like that and then what you also do is hit this and you can uh, go to convert and you can go to separate separate pattern by kit piece and then click this drop down menu here it'll it'll separate all of the MIDI from there. It will separate all of the MIDI in its own little audio track. So then you can just edit them, you know, if you want your kick up higher, you want to lower. You want your hi-hats pan all the way. All right, you can do that. Also, you can go here and you can do the same thing. You can separate notes by kit. All right, all right. So then say if you want a different uh, kit overall, but you want to keep the same pattern, you can go back to the drawer and you can just click on whatever 
pack you want to uh, use or one you just think about trying out you can just click it and it'll automatically change all of these to alpha sounds I even change my hi-hat let's go here okay as you can see this giving me real 90s for real for real all right and then if you like that pattern you can save your patterns by going to this all right so you go to the double view thing and then you click this arrow here actions you click that down you go to save pattern uh, I'm gonna call it beauty is her name or 90s 90s simple groove beat. I'm gonna use this so that's dope so another thing you can um, let me close this so another thing you can do is go to grid view and you can click create pattern cell and you can create your patterns and you can just keep creating patterns create pattern cell create so how many you want mm. All right, and then you can just drag these over there, and your pattern will be in the track. Will be on the track. All right, you can just drag them in, and this is how you compose. You know what I mean? Boom. The different, the different patterns. All right. So that's that. All right. So now let's see. All right. So now that we got that, so I'm gonna show you how to get to the virtual instruments. All right. So let's go to Let's go to create another software instrument. Okay. And then you're going to go to this drawer. And you can go to take a day trip. And you can choose an instrument. So I want to choose a keyboard. Okay. Software instrument. You can click a synthesizer. Go here. Now. If it's this arrow, that means you have to download it or it won't play. Click on it after finish downloading. And there you have it. All right, I want to go to, um, that sounds really cool. I want to go to a keyboard, though. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to keep that one. So I'm going to pick a piano sound. All right. Now you can do two things. You can go to create a MIDI region. And it's going to bring up, you know, your piano roll, and you can, you can, you can draw in your notes. All right, you can do it like that, or you can click uh, create a pattern region, which is super dope. Okay, and you can just uh, write your melodies in there. All right, I'm gonna set mine to sixty-four. And 16. Okay, and then I'm going to pick a pattern key. I'm going to pick D sharp major. D sharp major. Okay. And I'm going to just draw my stuff in. Mm -hmm. um. This will sound uh, all right, and then I'm going to go to functions and then I'm going to just transpose it out the book. You can do everything um, with these artist packs that you can do with any other sound is what I am trying to show you. All right, so 
If you want to get to all of the other instruments, synthesizers, you can go to the bass. They got the bass sounds there. They got the classics, house pads, sims, sims. Check them all out. They got some lead sounds. They got some pads, rhythmic, you know. Oh, one more thing. So if you want to pull this up in the piano roll, but the piano roll is grayed out, meaning you can't get to it, all you have to do is double click this and you can push convert to MIDI region. So you go to convert, convert to MIDI region, and it'll take you to the piano roll. All right, super fun, but yeah, thanks for watching, hope they help.